attend Churchill Middle School. Next year, I'll be a freshman at Canyon High School. But now is the time to start thinking about what I want to do with my future and what career I might be interested in. Whether you're going to be a cougar, a ranger, or a hawk, you're starting your journey as well, today. The state of Texas has recently passed and enacted House Bill 5, or HB 5, to help students like us get a jump start on our future plans and create a roadmap to achieve our goals of becoming, well, whatever we want to be when we finish high school. My name is Levi, and I'm in the 10th grade at Smithson Valley High School. As a part of the HB 5, you'll be meeting with your counselor at Smithson Valley High School to discuss your PGP, or personal graduation plan. You can use your PGP as a roadmap to achieving your goals when you graduate. This will take the guesswork out of which courses you need to choose when you enter your career field preparation. This custom plan, built for you, will give you the advantage by enrolling you in the appropriate preparatory courses you will need when you enter college, vocational school, or the workforce. It also helps you avoid from taking classes you don't need, so you can focus on your post-high school goals. There are five areas of study that you will choose from. These are called endorsements. Arts and Humanities, Business and Industry, Public Service, Science, Technology, Engineering, Math, or STEM, and Multidisciplinary Studies. Once you choose an endorsement, you will then choose a cluster or career experience path with real-world, hands-on learning that puts your textbook learning into real-world experiences. Now, let's take a brief look at each category. My name is Baron Castile and I'm the mayor of the city of New Braunfels and I'm a practicing attorney. I have found being mayor of New Braunfels to be a rewarding service to my community as well as having uh, practiced law for the last 17 years. As a student, if you're interested in public administration or the practice of law, uh, you would want to consider Arts and Humanities endorsement. Other careers within this endorsement are college professor, archeologist, park ranger, art expert, a reporter, and even a museum curator. Someone enjoying the arts or history would find a career in arts and humanities a rewarding endeavor. Hi, my name is Troy Parker. And I am Lisa Parker. Together we own and operate a custom home building company in New Braunfels and the surrounding area. We always wanted to be self-employed and own our own business. As a business owner, there are a lot of moving pieces that go into building custom homes. Managing the day-to-day -day operations of our business takes a lot of communication and managerial skills. If a student wanted to own their own business because they had an idea for a great product or service, they might want to explore the business and industry endorsement. There, they could specialize in business management, hospitality and tourism, manufacturing, transportation and automotive technology, architecture and construction, agriculture, and even media production. As we're doing today, it's a lot of hard work, but I do believe it to be very rewarding. If someone wanted to be their own boss, own their own business, or support a company with their expertise, I would recommend they look into the career path within the business and industry endorsement. Hi, I'm Tyler Ferris. I'm an orthodontist and I practice in the Smithson Valley Spring Branch communities. If you are a student who is interested in the medical or dental fields, then the public service endorsement is the one for you. Within this endorsement, you can specialize your coursework to become a firefighter, doctor, teacher, therapist, cosmetologist, or even a member of law enforcement or the armed services. If directly helping people is important to you, you may want to choose a career path in the public service endorsement. Hi, my name is Kerry Harris and I work at GBTC. I work in the Network Operations Center as a Network Operations Center Analyst. My job includes uh, working with computers and computer networking and information technology. If there were a student who wanted to work with computers, networks, and programming, they should explore the STEM endorsement, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Other careers in the STEM endorsement include Environmental Science, Mechanical and Biological Engineering, Robotics, Biomedical Science, Game and App Development, and even Earth and Space Science. 
If you would really enjoy a challenging and technical career behind the scenes, take a look at all the amazing opportunities in the STEM endorsement. That was just a brief overview of the kinds of choices you'll be making as you enter into high school. And here's the best part. You can change your mind if you truly find another path you'd like to take. The full benefits of HB5 are found by students who take their time now to choose a path wisely based on interests, personality traits, and personal and financial goals. So do your homework and choose the path that best suits you today. Your first two years will basically be covering general graduation requirements but your final two years will be specializing in your career field and gaining hands-on experience. I know that graduation day from Smithson Valley High School seems so far away, but just ask any senior now and they will tell you that the four years you spend preparing for the rest of your future goes by in the blink of an eye. So, research careers on the internet, talk to adults that are doing jobs that you find interesting, and start thinking now that when you meet with your counselor, you'll be ready to create your own personal graduation plan. Good luck.